Hey guys and girls, welcome back to some Disguise 7. Um, where we had left off, a lot of people have been going through sort of an illusionary state, facing their illusionary dreams, um, like things that they've been running from by, uh, what was his name? The, the John Doe, Joe Doe. Uh, we made it to episode 14. Fuji now, I guess, um, are gonna have. An arc here. Who'd have thought we'd find the secret pathway while we were chasing after Owl? Especially in the crater beneath the castle. I'm part of the Shogun family, and I didn't know either. And if Udo Castle hadn't been destroyed, I still wouldn't. <laughs> oh, ho, ho! that sure is a plucky cake, huh? You mean a lucky break? And this is more than just a break! My castle was completely destroyed! A plucky cake. Quit complaining. What's one castle? So, is this path the energy portal to the Infernal Sanctuary? Yes, it should be. However, I believe the entrance is further ahead. I feel a weird presence. I bet Joe Doe was pretending to be a castle to hide the path. Whatever. We have to catch up to Al. Let's get moving. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Shogun and scum! Now? Ugh, I don't have time for bottom beers! I'll cut you all down! I'm gonna do my worst! How about you? Let's push through this place. Where is my phone? Quick as we can. Don't run. Beginning extermination. You're not getting away. Resuming the mission. Don't run. Can probably just push Mac up into this whole area. Resuming the mission. Resuming the mission. 
Witness my power. Resuming the mission. That was a waste of time. Let's hurry. Fuji, stop. We kicked their ass. Shining on the ground, right by your feet. No. Huh? This is the infernal treasure that Fuji made, huh? Who are you, mister? Do you know my dad? Yes, you could say that. I'm Fuji's father. That makes me your grandfather. Call me Grandpa. Grandpa? Really? You're Al's grandpa? What was that just now? It was like I was seeing something inside my head. Yes, me too! It appeared to be something that happened to Al! Looks like everyone had the same hallucination. It feels different than the last time Joe Doe used his powers on us. Grandpa? Oh, give me a break. <sighs> Damn it. There's no point thinking about it now. We need to hurry. Magistrate of Love and Hate. That's wild. So Fuji managed to make Stop. It's the end of the line. This is as far as make an infernal know. weapon at like the age of like ten. <laughs> Looking for a fight, are you? Ah, my apologies. We crossed paths not long ago. It's me, Joe Doe. What? If you're Joe Doe, why do you look like that? <laughs> I can divide up my soul. As long as I have a vessel, I can revive myself. He doesn't appear to be lying. However, that's an awfully convenient ability to possess. Handy, huh? I could just keep coming back. To be completely honest, I wanted to use Ao as a vessel, but... What did you say? What were you gonna do to Ao? Oh, please don't get angry. I was trying to be nice in my own way. I just wanted to recycle something broken. Broken? What are you talking about? Oh, you didn't know? I was unstable. She was born by accident, so now her body and soul are on the brink of collapse. Oh, shit. Ow's unstable? Ao's current powers aren't inferior to the seven founding weapons. I have doubts about this supposed collapse. <laughs> She's only holding on because of her attachment to her dear daddy. Her love for Fuji is too strong. She should be useless by now, but her desire to be loved is keeping her together. Doesn't that just touch your heart? Oh. All this time, your smile was masking the pain you were feeling on the inside? Why didn't you say anything? How admirable, how determined, and how sad that our little infernal treasure's dream of receiving daddy's love will never come true. No! Her 
dream will come true! Al being an infernal treasure doesn't change a thing! You don't know anything about the love between parent and child! I won't let you get in Fuji's way! Let's make some money! Final blow! Getting away. Oh, sorry. Are you kidding me? Oh, he's going to kill us. Witness my power. Just wouldn't shut up. What a waste of time. It's still too soon to let your guard down. If he really can keep reviving, he'll probably come back as something else. Wait, Fuji! There's another shiny thing over. Stop touching random shiny things. They're trauma traumatic memories. Those shogunate guys are my dad's enemies? 
Yes, that's right. You're a smart girl, Ao. I bet you know what you have to do to make your dad happy. Yep. Ao's gotta smash up the shogunate because dad hates him. And so he manipulated her. You did what you told me to do, Grandpa. Ao beat up the shogunate. But... Dad didn't look happy at all. Maybe... Al's not working hard enough. Aww. I wanted him to praise me. Even if it's just once. I want to hear Dad tell me he's proud of me. If I want that, I guess I gotta beat up the Shogun a whole bunch of times to make Dad smile. It happened again. Are we seeing Al's memories? I get it now. The shiny fragments we've been finding. They're pieces of Ao's soul. Pieces of her soul? Joe Doe said that Ao's body and soul are on the verge of collapse, right? Maybe bits of her soul are being left behind whenever she passes through. I see. So we're able to see Ao's memories of the past when we encounter these soul fragments. Wait! Isn't her soul breaking down super bad? Yeah, we need to rescue her as soon as we can. Let's hurry up! <clears throat> Ow! We're coming! I won't let you die all alone! <clears throat> Lethal Weeping. Oh, we finally found you. You did, you did. <laughs> Playing tag is so much fun, isn't it, Dad? This is the first time you've ever come to find Al. I'm oh. <laughs> super, super happy. Hug her. There are so many things I want to say to you. That's why I'm here. Listen to me, Al. I really do love, love, love. Pock! Damn it! Be careful, Fuji. If you're vomiting blood just by having the feelings, doing or saying anything will likely kill you. It's okay. I understand. You can't say it because of your curse, right? But you're still trying to tell Al. Ow. The reason he chased Al away and said mean things all the time is because you care, right? It's okay. I get it. Al totally understands. You might be awkward about it, <laughs> but I love how kind you are, Dad. Oh. Oh, I... But I don't have much time left. And I definitely don't have any more time to chat with you, even if it's fun. Ow? Why are you attacking me? All I did was come to talk to you! That makes me so happy! But it's too late now. How's gonna do her best to kill you, Dad? Damn. You sure about this? I'll take your cash and your life! Ow! Please stop! We don't want to fight you! Shut up, you airhead! I said I don't have much time left! Ow! Stop it already! Your body is starting to fall apart. Oh, is she gonna be? Is she gonna turn it's into a weapon late. to like be I with us? A bit better after Grandpa gave me the demonic bowl, but 
It looks like even that can't help me anymore. Owl and the demonic bow separated? Oh, shit. The demonic bow's power is to heal. If that's what was keeping Owl's body together, then she'll decay even faster. Is this another one of Owl's memories? The reason Dad keeps avoiding me is because of his curse, right? He really does love me, doesn't he? I've always dreamed Dad would be by Owl's side. And that he'd tell me he loves me with a big smile on his face. I... I don't want to die. I really don't. If I was gonna die, then... Then I... <laughs> Dow, that's enough! I know how you feel. I get it. I don't have to say that to know that I... <laughs> Thanks for coming after me, even though you're cursed, Dad. For the first time, I really felt that you love me. Don't worry, Dad. You won't have to suffer anymore. Because I... <laughs> Al? What's wrong? Something isn't right with Al! She looks like she's in pain! <gasps> no! Dad! Stay back! I take it back. Something's really wrong with her. Come on, let's go! Are you okay? <laughs> Am I okay? I don't need anyone's pity. Especially not your vomit-inducing concern. Almost as if she's being controlled by something or someone. I took a peek at her soul. That's not Owl. <laughs> Indeed, it's me again, Jodo. So, what do you think? I finally took over this vessel. It's mine! I only managed to do it because she got rid of that stupid demonic bow. It really ended up working out for me. <laughs> it didn't help that Lord Mugai was so nice to his granddaughter. Something this strong should have been mine from the start. I'll only say this once, Magistrate Shithead. If you don't leave Al's body right now, I'll kill you. Ooh, such an intense bloodlust. I'm shaking. You really are Mugai's son. Regardless, I'm not scared. This body's top class! It's strong and fast. Beating Demodor Opener would be child's play, literally. Just a little boost of power and... See? <laughs> He's so fast! His attacks are on a completely different level from Ao's. A direct hit will be fatal! Th that's Ao's body, right? Why is it suddenly so much more powerful? Ao's been holding back this whole time. If she went all out, she could even destroy a star. But now her powers are under the control of Magistrate Shithead. One wrong move and we're toast. It doesn't matter what you do. You'll die at the hands of someone you love. I'm going to unleash all my strength.
Defeat Head Magistrate Joe Doe. Let's make some money. I'll take your cash and your life. Need a prayer? Blessings be upon you. I'll show you the way, dude. My foe. Mission received. How about you? Here to die. 
you what? Ow! What do you mean by that? Dad, you're super nice, so if you kill me, you'll never ever forget me, right? Even if I can't feel your love, as long as you remember me forever, I'll be happy. That's why I decided that when I die, I want you to be the one to kill me. How heartbreaking! Don't <laughs> give up! Let's find a way to save you! There has to be a way! There's gotta be, be something positive. we can do! It's okay! I can't be safe! So, before I hurt you, Dad, let me die by your sword! Don't ever forget me! Is she gonna make us fight her again? Res Al Lucian. Need a prayer? May God watch over you. Where to, dude? I always knew. That you used a lot of lives to create me. I knew that what Grandpa wanted me to do was bad. But I still wanted you to pay attention to me. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry I was so selfish. I love you, Dad. Aww. Ow. <laughs> 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 it really ends here this time. Get out, Magistrate Shithead. I've got no business with you. What kind of a bluff is that? Or do you not? If Ao dies, he you won't be able to access the Infernal site. You're wrong. What? We're not out of options. We'll get Ao back and <laughs> That's what I like to hear, Perilica. We have a clear path ahead of us. What if I use my demonic staff to order your soul out of Al's body? That'd save her, wouldn't it? I'll use my demonic axe to predict when your soul <laughs> will leap out. The probability of capturing you? 100%. Hell yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> and when that happens, I'll use my demon. Why won't you give up? There's no way he'll win. Oh. Is the pathetic little worm scared? Looks like cutting down your soul is exactly what we need to do. There's nothing my demonic sword can't slice through. If someone tries to get in my way, to hell with fate! I'll cut you down! Let's fucking do it. Let's make some money! I'll take your cash and your life! You dare! You dare! Not getting away! Please forgive me. You're not getting away. Getting away. You're not getting away. Jumbify. Smash all of these guys. I'll take your cash and your life. You're not getting away. Fuck you. Kicking me like that. Alright. 
How did that not kill? I'll take your cash and your life. You're not getting away. Alright. Dumbass away. is getting out of Al's body. You're not getting away. I'll take your cash and your life. Let's go. Hell mode. Impressive. You were able to avoid the kid and only cut my soul, but it's not like she's got much time left anyway. You'll lose your only way to get into the infernal sanctuary. <laughs> I did it, Lord Mugai. Al. I'm sorry for everything. I've been ignoring you and blaming it on some stupid curse this whole time. I was scared. Because you're the living proof of my crimes. Oh, I won't let you die. Oh. He's healing her, isn't he? Hold still, okay? I'll, you'll feel better soon. Skill that saved Suisen? I see. Like me, Ao is a living infernal weapon. It makes sense that Fuji can heal her. But for Fuji, saving his own child is the equivalent of ending his own life. <laughs> Buster, go lay down. Has been waiting for me all this time. <laughs> I can't make her wait any longer. It's fine. As long as I feel anything, the curse will eat away at me. It's just proof that I love you to death, Al. <laughs> Oh. It's pretty ironic. No matter what mean things I say, this curse exposes how I really feel. I'm sorry, Al. I wasn't even close to being a real father to you. If I can save you before I die, that's enough for me. Live, Al. Your birth isn't a sin. There's no way it ever could be. Live life. In your own way. Dad! I've lied to myself this whole time. I lost sight of who I really was. But now, I finally kept to my Bushido way. I'll die to protect those dear to me. That's my Bushido! I've always loved you. I always will. Ow. Sky Seven Act Three, a divine change, and damn. Shosai. <laughs> I'm fine with being stubborn. I want to 
rescue Fuji. No one's going to get in my way. Oh shit, the bow's gonna heal him, isn't it? <laughs> Mother, please give me strength. The demonic bow, Zenryo Yoichi, is being drawn to Perilica's hand. Her passion has moved the demonic bow. Go on, Perilica. Use its healing powers to save Fuji. Please come back to life, Fuji. If you don't, I'll use your 100 million health to buy some Ukiyo-e painting. <laughs> <laughs> don't you dare spend my money, Persilica! <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love Fuji, them. You, you regained consciousness! <laughs> Ow? Oh. Perico saved me, huh? Man, I wish you could have seen how badass Perilica was. She was trying to save you with all her heart. It was like the demonic bow was responding to Perilica's call. The seven bonding weapons really are amazing. I never foresaw a future where you would be resurrected, Fuji. You all never cease to surprise me. Pipe down, would ya? Ugh, you're so damn annoying. Ooh, maybe I should have just stayed dead. <laughs> you love Stop it, Fuji. Stop tough and be grateful. Perilica did you such a big favor that even 100 million hell can't pay it off. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. I'm not giving you a discount on the bodyguard fee. But I'll protect you with... <coughs> Fuji? You're still cursed? Come on, I just brought you back to life! You can't die again! Don't die, Dad! I'll die for you! Al's ready! No, no! You can't just say you'll take his place like that, okay, Al? Oh, Why not? I don't mind dying for me. No dad. one's dying. But we'd mind if you died! We care about you and Fuji! Death is not an option! Huh? Me too? You'd be sad if I died? Of course! You're our friend after all. You're one of us! I mean your friend? Thanks. Thank you! Um, <laughs> Priscilica. You got a death wish, Ieyasu. <laughs> Fuji? What's with that face? You're scaring me. <sighs> it seems you have all forgotten, but we're right near the enemy's stronghold. Let them be for now. No one's dead, and Ao's one of us now. Plus, Perilica managed to awaken the demonic bow. All that's left is to take down Mugai. Our next battle's the big one. It'll be our most crucial fight yet. Hey, Dad? What is it, Al? Everyone's so silly. I'm having a lot of fun. Al's not alone anymore, huh? Yeah, you're not. Mugai so that everyone can live in a world where they can be themselves. The world is always changing. It's about time for Mugai to step down. I'm the ruler of the Hinamoto Netherworld. I won't let anyone get in my way. I don't know what the future holds, but if anyone can defeat Mugai, it's us. That's 
for sure, because my dad is a stronger samurai than Grandpa or anyone else around. Next time on This Guy is Seven, final episode, The Seven Infernal Wielders. <laughs> Quiet this whole time, Dad. Well, Al, he's overcome with emotion over the final episode, so anything he says will make his curse flare up. Shut, shut your. <coughs> Dad! <laughs> You're so obvious, Fuji. <laughs> Where to, dude? Seven infernal treasure wielders. Path to the sanctuary. Um... I think we're only like a little over 30 minutes. So yeah, I think we're going to keep going a little bit. Lost lambs. I don't know how this far. Um, Blessings be upon you. But let's do it. Where to, dude? I'm excited to see this next chapter. Path to the sanctuary. So look at us. The entrance to the infernal sanctuary. We look so badass. We made it. It's too soon to celebrate. We have to be ready for anything once we open the gate. We've got Pirico's newly awakened demonic bow, Zenryo Yoichi. Suisun's demonic axe, Zenchi Kintoki. Master Higan's demonic spear, Banji Tadakatsu. C4's demonic gun, Hichu Ryoma. Yayasu's demonic staff, Tokugawa Tenge. My demonic sword, Kanzan Musashi. And Al, who's just as strong as any of the seven founding weapons. Is everyone ready? Let's throw everything we've got at it! We'll smash it to pieces! Yeah! Final episode. The seven infernal treasure wielders! Oh, that that doesn't say final episode. That just says episode the fifteen. Appeared. The infernal sanctuary must be beyond here. I sense a soul more powerful than any I've ever detected before. Uh oh. I need to be careful. Hey, Al. If you're scared, you can always hold on a handsome old me. You want to die before the fight even starts? I I'm not being sleazy. She's your daughter, bro. Probability that Yayasu will change his mind if she ends up becoming a beauty in the future, 100%. <laughs> I'll just kill you now. Come on, Fuji. I'm sorry, okay? I'll never talk to her again. <laughs> you and your friends always look like you're having so much fun, Dad. She's used up all of her powers, but it's okay, Fuji. Her soul is still intact. <laughs> oh, sorry, Dad. You don't have to apologize. Just leave the rest to us. Don't push yourself to... <laughs> you sure have a soft spot for her, Fuji. Not even coughing up blood is enough to deter you from doting on her. Shut up! I got a lot of blood, okay? Maybe a little anemia will do me good. <laughs> We've been through a lot, but it's only deepened our bonds. You know what they say, what doesn't kill you makes you longer. So close. You mean what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Um, we are going to stop Opener's execution, aren't we? Perhaps it's time we head into the sanctuary. Oh, it's Big Bull. Intruders. The 
Looks like your luck has run out. Now that I've found you, you won't proceed any further. Jeez, you just don't know when to quit. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson? <laughs> I focused on strengthening my defenses. You won't defeat me this time. There's only one thing on my mind. No matter how many people try, I won't let anyone pass. That just means you don't think for yourself. We'll keep fighting you until you get it through your thick skull. You sure about this? You're not getting away. How about you? Shitty big formed. I didn't even see that. I'm not gonna lie. Alright. I guess I'm going to. Some floral carbonate. 
You idiot. You really don't learn. That's not true! I haven't overlooked anything this time! I sent a notice to all 13 magistrates asking for backup just now. He really did. Even I received his text. I will flag it as spam. Oh, sorry, Sweezy. Anyways, that means an army will now descend on the Infernal Sanctuary. <laughs> when it comes to defense, it all boils down to the difference in military might. I'm sorry to say it's your loss. That's not true. Unity's vital for defense. Who'd come to back you up, doofus? What? Party us, you! You're here! I'm glad you got my back. You got it, cuz! Leave it to us! <laughs> How dare you! Traitors! My dude, I've betrayed closer people to me than my co-worker. Hearing you call me a traitor doesn't mean squat. I wonder how much backup you're gonna get. The 13 magistrates were wiped out by Ayasu and his pals. They're basically nothing now. Oh? I'm liking where this is going. So, Ayasu, it'll take me some time, but I've decided to start over with you guys. I'll catch up with you later, so go ahead and stop Opener's execution. <laughs> Thanks! You're on fire, cuz! <laughs> you the best part, Ayasu. Definitely in enemy territory. Grunts. As far as the eye can see. Ha! Take that! Don't you have anyone worth my while? Aw, normally I could smash these meanies all on my own. Hey, Al, no fighting! Your powers haven't been completely restored. Leave it to us! We'll swap them in one fell swoop. Hey, Yayaka. Sorry to keep you waiting. <laughs> Everyone's favorite idol is here. The Shogun Spotlight belongs to me. Sakura. And Yayaka. Long time no see. Tarnation C4. We're going all in for y'all to win. We ain't gonna let it end here. We'll give these simps an encore! Yayasu, everyone, we'll handle this. You go on ahead! We're the idol duo, Princess Yayakura, and we're always on the winning side. They identified the Shogunate as losers and switched sides at the speed of light. I'd expect nothing less of them. So! Don't forget about me! That sharp sky splitting surf. Hakuma, you're here too? Hm. Don't get the wrong idea. I can't let you lose to anyone or anything, except to me. Got it? <laughs> That's my line, isn't it? I'll cut you down as many times as you want. When did the two of you become such steadfast friends? Business has been pretty tough with all these nasty demons around. We'll lend you folks a hand. Even the Hot Springs Magistrate is here! Wait, does that mean... Crispy Dark is here too? Fuji, I declare a ceasefire. I, the Great Crimson Dark, will offer my help this time and only... <laughs> oh shit. Crimson Park. You behind the pillar. Damn you, Crimson Dark. Oh, it's ten buyer. Defend the rebels. You're always like this. It's the resale magistrate, ten buyer. I won't let you maggots get in the way of Moo Guy's aspirations. You hear me? Fucking ten buyer. Let's make some money! Operational limits reached. 
I'll take your cash and your life. Wait, where did where did he go? Oh. Each damage threshold surpassed. You're not getting away. You're not getting away. Each damage threshold surpassed. Target. I'll take your cash and your life. You're not getting away. Each damage threshold surpassed. Fight. I'll take your cash and your life. Target. You're not getting away. Operational limits reached. I'll have your head. Target. There are many foes. Don't run. You're not getting away. Operational limits reach. You're not getting away. Operational limits reach. I'll take your cash and your life. You're not getting away. There are many foes. Each damage threshold surpassed. There are many foes. You know you won't win against us. Why are you taking Mugai's side? Wait! Don't say a word! Mugai saved you from being a freak show attraction, didn't he? After that, he acknowledged you as a warrior. Thus, it was the first time you felt empathy's embrace! Not again, Pirico. You can't keep blurting out delusions like they're the truth! No. She hit the nail on the head. She what? Lord Mugai did rescue me from becoming a spectacle, and said I had the heart of a warrior. His words were so kind. That's why I'll perform despicable deeds, and even drag every single netherworld into chaos. I'll do anything for him! You dumbass! This is Mugai we're talking about! He's just using you! But what he did for Ten Buyer sounds just like the old new guy. Ten Buyer, are you really sure you want to help Moo Guy with his plans? Well, what do you mean by that? The feelings you just expressed. Wouldn't you consider it empathy that spurs you to repay his kindness? 
If Mugai gets his way and eradicates all empathy, your feelings won't exist anymore. Well, I... Enough talk! I'm only here to execute Lord Mugai's orders! Thanks to the key testimony of a certain Chidofune, we were able to get our message across super easily, Mia. A certain Shirofune? We brought a platoon of soldiers from Celestia to act as reinforcements. Leave everything to us! Mitra! <laughs> I'm so glad to see you! The Archangel didn't punish you, did she? I avoided punishment by promising to bring back limited Hiramoto superhero merchandise. I'll also have to atone through good deeds. My first task is to stop Mugai's ambitions. Now that I'm an angel again, I must fight evil for love, justice, and friendship! Hell yeah, Nitra! <gasps> All these angels showing up is making my allergies flare up! <laughs> we incapacitated Kurofune and the Shirofunes! They're now in our custody. You guys go on ahead and yell. Place of execution. Lost lambs. This is the hospital. May God watch over you. Where to, dude? <sighs> the execution draws near by the gaggle of meddlesome idiots of sure. Though we could always accelerate the timetable, what should I do? Father! Thank goodness you're all right! Stop, Perico! Something's off. <laughs> <laughs> this disguise was good enough to even fool his own flesh and blood up till now. That's right, it's me, Jodo. This fuck Jodo's a fucking dick. We need to kill this dude. Just taking over everyone. Perilica, look at Opener's arm. He's wearing a gauntlet similar to the demonic fist that Mugai took the form of. Perhaps it has something to do with that. Yeah, I've definitely seen that gauntlet before. It's teeming with spiteful souls. How very sharp of you. That's right. This gauntlet is my true form. I'm a living infernal treasure as well. As a reward for guessing correctly, I'll put an end to the man you're all trying so desperately to rescue. So why'd you make a scene out of telling us your true form? If you're just doing what Mugai would do, you're only copying him. <laughs> Being compared to the great Lord Mugai is the highest of honors for me. I will buy time until his ambitions are realized when Opener is executed. You seem pretty confident we won't smash you to pieces and save Opener before then. I'm possessing Opener right now. Will you truly use your full strength against me? You kind souls aren't capable of that. You're wrong! My father will be fine! My demonic bow will be able to heal him as long as he's less than 66.6% .6 dead. What?! How can you call that fine?! He's your father! Ha! Our attitudes rubbed off on Pirico. Sorry, Opener, but we'll do our worst. And by worst, he means our best. Let's kick his ass. Look at all these things. No entry? Jesus. They're making me go backwards. That's some bullshit. Oh, 
So you, you're gonna chill here. <coughs> Everyone else is gonna go back. Because Fuji, I, I, I'm pushing him up to fucking take down this dude as quick as possible. As soon as, as, soon as we lower this. Resuming the mission. I'll take your cash and your life. Impact detected. Coming for you, opener. Let's go. Bitch. You really didn't hold back. My apologies, Lord Mugai. Please forgive me for failing miserably when I still haven't repaid my debt to you. Why do you idolize Mugai so much? I was one of the countless prototypes born out of his attempts to create the demonic fist. But I happened to gain sentience when I was made. My circumstances were unique, and Lord Mugai treated me as a living creature rather than a tool. That made me very happy. It's often said that all objects have a soul. No one actually treats them like living beings. You're just like Al. So why did you say such horrible things to Al? Even though you have similar origins, you should know exactly how she feels. <laughs> I hate to admit it, but I was jealous. Lord Mugai loved her as a blood relative. He never treated me that way. I wanted to be loved, too, just as Al was. Everything I did was in pursuit of that goal. Nothing more. Joe Doe. I thought you were just a creep, but I guess you had your reasons, too. Al understands how you feel. I love my dad a lot, too. May we forgive Joe Doe? As a living infernal treasure myself, I can't help but empathize. Ugh, you morons. <sighs> no regretting this later. Got it? You, you'll forgive me? Thank you so much. You're all really, truly... A gaggle of idiots! Come forth, Deathfone Squad! What the? A bunch of Shirofunes just appeared! This is the Death Fune Squad, the Shogunate's most sinister executioners. You can't stop all of these lethally enhanced Shirofunes. Now then, let the execution commence. Begin broadcasting to the whole universe. We'll do away with Opener, body and all. What's going on? I gave you an order. Execute opener now! 
Unfortunately, that's not going to happen. What did you say? See again? Is that you? Oh shit! Yeah. It's been a while, kid. I went ahead and deactivated all of the death units. Again? But Cannon Line made you disappear without a trace. How did you come back from that? She used a transportation device to warm me away and make it seem like I died. Fuck you, I've Cannon. Been working undercover ever since. I can't believe my mother went to such lengths. Thank you, mother. Wait. So the informant Sugar was talking about earlier. Yep, that's me. I'll protect Opener and take care of Jodo. I'm counting on you to deal with Master Mugai. <sighs> My apologies, Lord Mugai. I cannot live up to your expectations. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. Blade of Pure Hatred. Need a prayer? Blessings be upon you. I'll show you the way, dude. We've crushed all your plans. You've got nowhere to run now, Mugai. Nowhere to run? Don't make me laugh. The stream is still broadcasting. I'll trample all of you on camera to show the netherworlds just how weak compassion is. You won't succeed. We'll stop your inhumane ambitions before anyone else falls victim to your schemes. What makes you any different, Whelp? Haven't you also overwhelmed others with your own beliefs? Using people as stepping stones for our own ambitions is something we have in common. Quit acting like you know anything about Perico! You're nothing alike! It's okay, Fuji. I have never, ever viewed anyone as a stepping stone. I carry the hopes of my mother and all who fell in battle against you on my shoulders! Do you understand the consequences of your words? I know many who were crushed under the weight of the hopes they bore. Of course I do! Perhaps you're right. Life might be easier if we cast compassion aside. It may be simpler to lie about your feelings and not worry about others. But you only really live if you're true to yourself. You'll laugh, fight, fall in love, and cry when you lose someone dear. Damn. I have to live life to the fullest for those I've lost. Fuck you. Yeah. I'll always wear my heart on my sleeve. I'll carry fallen hopes on my shoulders. That's my chosen path. The way of Perilica. Huh. <laughs> She's got her own code of honor now. Always quick to rebrand everything. Still, she has a whole group of friends walking down that foolish path with her. Who else but Perilica would trust me? Even when I was getting ready to stab her in the back. Yeah. Even when it's obvious someone's lying to her, she always gives them the benefit of the doubt and forgives them. Conviction is what makes you, you. Perilica's words saved me when I was lost. Grandpa, I really changed Al too. I'm not alone anymore. Oh. Mugai, I know it was easy to lose your faith and compassion after losing your wife and being defeated by Opener. But a compassionless person can't connect with others. Where is your path leading? Who's by your side? We used to be friends. Disciples under the same master. Brace yourself, Mugai. I'll stop you this time. Once and for all! You're a damn fool, Hegan. Don't speak to me like we're family. I despise that bond you fools have forged. I never loathed anything more. 
I'll do whatever I can to crush it. That's rich. You don't want empathy to hold you back? But you're the one that seems the most tied down by it. I'll cut through your pathetic ambition! All right, everyone. Let's do our worst! What is he looking at? Level 100 on, on Mugai. What is this, too? Oh, that's a huge buff as well. I'm which is kind of horrible, not gonna lie. Final blow. I'm assuming we're gonna be able to get a lot of them, though, to get off of those platforms, potentially. Hopefully. At the very least, we get on them as well. Come on, Moon Guy. Everyone hit Muga. I'll face you. Got him. We managed to defeat him, but it's not over yet, is it? Hmm. Obviously not. You think that was enough to keep me down? Of course he came back to life! Whether he comes back a hundred times or ten thousand times, we'll just keep killing him again. Unlike Hegon, our energy is limited. We'll run out- Hey... Mogai's souls haven't diminished at all. We can't give up! I'm sure we'll figure out a way to defeat him. When push comes- <laughs> When push comes to shove. <laughs> Doing how? You can't fight right now. Is she hugging him? Ow! You're too weak to fight. What are you? Wait, something's not right. What are you doing? Oh! Oh, what's happening? That looks like it's actually hurting him. A bunch of souls are leaving Mugai's body. What is she doing to him? Talking about. I, I don't understand how it works, but I was drawing souls from you guys' body. Oh shit! <laughs> I'm glad Grandpa taught me how to control souls. Ow! Don't be so reckless. Get back here! Ugh. How are you doing this, Ow? Because of love. Dad and everyone else gives Ow tons of strength. Let go of me, damn it! Mugai, this time I'll cut you down for good! How dare you get in my way, Al? I'll take you out first! In your damn dream! <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Mugai's coughing up blood? <sighs> Never mind that. 
I have to end it here. He has the same thing, doesn't he? The same curse on himself. Fate of empathy and warriors. We're in the depths of the infernal sanctuary. Where's Mugai? <laughs> you heard it too? So I was. So you can all hear it. That's what awaits all who embrace compassion. What do you mean by that? What are all these souls? After Opener defeated me, I was drawn to this place. That's when I learned that empathy brings tragedy. Souls roam endlessly here, clinging to worldly regrets. They are unable to move on to Celestia. Endlessly? Mm. So... My master, my pupils, they were confined to... No matter how strong I become, I cannot release them from this torment. That's why I sought to erase all empathy. If I create a world where demons behave as they should, they won't fall to this fate. Look! Something's happening to him! Oh, shit. Love, compassion, friendship. Feast your eyes on my true soul-infused form. Super Deity Mugai! You're wide open! <laughs> That's Fuji for you. He went ahead and cut his dad down in the middle of the guy's monologue. Damn you! <laughs> Why are you mad? All I did was interrupt you. I'm just being the evil demon you want me to be. Fuck yeah. Compassion <laughs> this. Real demon behavior that. You've got no right to make decisions for other people. We can find our own paths without you butting in. Don't force your screwed up ideas on us. Huh. That's right, Fuji. Being forced to live a certain way is the biggest tragedy of all. Ah, and he got Shosai, the eternal legend. Emotions, Bushido, and the demon way mean nothing to me. That's my truth. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with demons that aren't demonic and angels that aren't angelic. It's okay to live how we want. I may be a stupid, perverted coward. I don't have to hide the real. Agree. <laughs> I believe in my own path as well. I may be an infernal treasure and don't look like I used to, but I'm still me. I love my dad. I will do anything to make him happy. Father said that Bushido is about helping others. That's what true warriors do, and that's what I love about Hinamoto. Love. Friendship and suffering. All of that belongs to us. We won't let you and your selfishness take that away. It doesn't matter if we're demons, angels, or warriors. We'll do our worst our way. Fuck yeah, Fuji. <laughs> you tell him. Final battle time. Defeat Super Deity Mugai. Sure about this? No, but we're gonna give this our strongest shot. We should be able to wreck him, though, because I am pretty OP. Is he gonna come at us? Oh, he is. Holy shit. Extermination. 
Money, all problems. My replacement stand. How you bitch? That for you. Go hell mode. Shoot this hell. Ow. Gotcha, bitch. I won't accept it. I won't. I won't. Nothing more. Is he trying to resurrect himself again? He has to be at his limit already. How stubborn can he be? Maybe it's not possible to defeat him here. After all, this place is filled with souls. Kirillika, he's targeting you. Get out of the way. It's okay. You stupid girl. I'll eliminate you from Hinomoto if it's the last thing I do. Mogai, you wish to release all these wandering souls from the sanctuary, don't you? I can't help you eliminate compassion. But I'd love to help you save their souls. Huh? huh? How preposterous! I killed your mother. You must despise me. I know you do. Don't try to hide it. I do harbor hatred for you. But I respect you. And your love for Hinamoto, too. That's stronger than my hate. I know if you had people who understood you, it'd never have come to this. Please. Can we take the right path together now? Fuyo! Aww. Stop! Stop it! Don't look at me like that! Perolica! Give up, Mugai. You've already lost. <laughs> Not to our strength, but to Perilica's conviction. But you can rest in peace. Because I'll cut down any regrets you have. I uh, shit. hear a voice. The music is going. Could it be? Father? Uh, 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 I heard it too. I think even the soul in my demonic staff is cheering us on. <laughs> oh, the souls are crying out. They're telling us to combine our feelings, Fuji. Fuji, save your father. Huh. Well, it's like my mom's soul was the one inside Kanzan Musashi. That must be why I connected with it instantly. What's going on? Why are the wandering souls gathering in the demonic sword? This is how strong emotions can be! Now, Fuji, pour everyone's feelings into your demonic sword! <laughs> you got it! I'll cut down this stupid place! Souls are escaping through the rift the demonic sword created. Good job, Fuji. You've saved a bunch of souls, and Mugai won't be able to come back again. It's hard to believe you cut a rift in space itself. This must be Kanzan Musashi's true power. No, I think it's because of the wandering souls. They lent their hopes to Fuji so he could use their strength. So, this is it for me. That was a good move, Fuji. Congratulations on killing your own father. It goes to show my ideals weren't wrong. <laughs> you idiot. Just die already! Talk! <laughs> what? You just cut down your arch nemesis. Don't you understand, Mugai? Fuji didn't use murder's intent to power the sword. He used compassion for his father. He only wanted to stop your rampage. That strike was his way of caring for you. The ultimate act of filial piety. <sighs> Cut that crap out. No one wants to hear your freaking delusions. You don't have to be embarrassed. Your suffering now is proof you care. Sh shut up! 
More importantly, we need to tend to you quickly. Stay still while I treat you. You still choose empathy. Even though you're suffering from my empathy killer curse. That is stupidity at its finest. Doesn't that remind you of when Fuyo was around? She and Perilica are awfully similar, aren't they? Vexingly so. How ironic that people who clung on to a path I abandoned thwarted my ambitions. I suppose this is how it ends. Instead of throwing it all away, I'll live with the burden. I lost to your strength. Ow. Come over here. I'll release the... In a faraway netherworld, there's an art that permits demons to be... I drew from that. So if you learn it... Mooka's <laughs> vomiting blood too? Uh... No, Perilica. His soul is too far gone to be saved. Mugai, you used the Empathy Killer curse on yourself, didn't you? You knew that you could only save Ao at the cost of your life. I won't thank you. It's not nearly enough to make up for all the evil you did. <laughs> Don't consider it an attempt at redemption. Shogun Yeyasu. Yeah, I was gonna do that anyway! I'll make the Netherworlds a way better place than they were under your rule. Party Yasu and I will support you. We'll restore the reputation of the Hinomoto Netherworlds together. Celestia will help out too. We have to turn the infernal treasures back to their original forms. <laughs> I worked so hard. I finally understand, Mugai. You cursed yourself because you couldn't get rid of your empathy either, huh? Who can say? The defeated must exit graciously. There's no need for further explanation. Farewell, my hated and beloved world. May Hinomoto's warriors be honored eternally. Of course he couldn't leave without acting cool. A self-righteous bastard to the very end. Even though you never managed to get rid of your empathy, we'll carry your burden for you. Rest in peace, Father. Aww. Oh, there we go. We did it. That was Disguise 7. Um, kind of an abrupt ending, I will say. Um, but I enjoyed it! Um, I think the characters were more likable. Uh, it was better than the, the last, like, three Disguise, in my opinion. Um, it ran beautifully. Um, it kept in... A lot of the jokes actually hit harder in this one, I think, and it was really funny. Um, I enjoyed every main character. Uh... And uh, the set pieces were really, really, like, varied and, and really cool. Overall, um, I'd say it's an easy, like, uh, I'm, I, oh my god, what happened to, what? Oh, so that's why she has cat ears. <laughs> I was wondering. Um, uh, wait, who are these characters? Is this, like, art for different characters? Or, I guess it is, like, random art and stuff. Um. It's a solid, I, with my Disgaea bias, it's a solid 8. But, um, I could, I could see it being argued for, like, a 7. Which, uh, both ratings are totally fine. I, I enjoyed it. I had, I had some tear-jerking moments for certain scenes. And, uh, I definitely recommend go picking it up. Um, specifically, go pick it up on the Switch, because I know the Switch version runs amazingly, and I think this is a game that you take on the go, and, uh, like, just kind of grind out on your, on your own time when you have the chance to. It's, it's really, really fun. I enjoyed it quite a bit. And I hope you guys did as well.
Again, also, I want to thank NIS America. Also, was that Laurel's angel friend? I f what the fuck was her name? I think that was her with the blonde hair. The long era of chaos is over. A new age begins now. And so, their long battle at last came to an end. Fuji, Ao, Perilica, Yeyasu, C4, Higon, and Suisen etched their names in history as the Seven Warriors of Hinomoto. I did the hard part by keeping watch from the nether ship, orchestrating the groundwork, and handling damage control. Totally. Peace on. Fuji, thank you so, so much for everything. <laughs> That fulfills our contract. I'm pretty glad I don't have to see your face anymore. Perilica paid Fuji his 100 million hell, as stipulated by his contract, and returned to her hometown. Oh. And not long after. Ah, thanks for coming to Ido Castle for the grand reopening party. I'm really touched. We are especially thankful to you, C4. We know you must be busy as a Celestial Ambassador. Of course I'd take time off to see all of you. Celestia Hinamoto relations are at an all-time high. The castle's nice and sparkly. It'll make a great target for when they come crashing out of the sky. Right, Dad? No using it as target practice. I'm serious, Al. I can't handle any more debt. <laughs> Are you for real, Fuji? How can you still be in debt? Probability of Fuji not being able to keep up with Ao's growing destruction bill and Higon's food costs? 98%. Ao's my daughter, so it's whatever. But stop making me foot the bill, Master! You're the one that should be paying for mine! <laughs> Are you telling me to get a job? That's not happening. I'll eat a whole week's worth of food at the party, so cut me some slack. Oh, he gone? Please go easy on me! But you know what? It really does feel lonely without Perilica around. Yeah. Fuji, aren't you itching to get back to the nether ship too? No? I mean, maybe if I get paid, I might consider it. Yasu. He can't he can't win. A probability of a certain someone making an entrance on a battleship like that? 100%. <laughs> What's the saying again? Uh, speak of the devil or something? Sorry! I was so excited about my new ship that I mixed up the gas and brake pedals. <laughs> Eriko, what are you doing here? Long time no see, Fuji. I'm here with a business proposal. You see, I founded the Nether Time Support Force. 
The first place we're rescuing is Hinamoto. We raced over here to help. Hold up. You're not. Of course I am. <sighs> not again. You mean we're like thunder and lightning? <sighs> we never change, Perlika. I'm not going to help you out of charity, kindness, or the goodness. <laughs> I know. That's why. I <laughs> Sounds like I can earn a killing from that. All right. Looks like I've got a new. <laughs> oh. And this is how, like, we continue to to chill together, I guess. Several months after the battle against Muga, the Nether Times support. <sighs> soba, soba, udon. Udo's restoration is chugging along, and it's old. Ah, Udo's famous traditional cursed doll cakes. I'm the undefeatable Higan Zeshosai, a mere hundred. Wasting your money again, huh, Master Moron? <laughs> the nether time support force to prevent wasteful spend there you go again we know probability you prefer the comfort of the nether time support uh, i can't deny just cheer up father was only able to return to the united nether the united nether worlds protects all nether worlds i'm confident they can but the united nether worlds people still have their suspicions about i'm sure they'll come around as long it's do one good deed a day. By the way, have you guys seen Al? <laughs> now that you pointed out, she is late. Al did cause a lot of damage to Grim Jufu. Hmm? The news reported this morning that. What? If that's true, then. Oh no. Get down! Hey, hey, he's bomb! <laughs> how, how could my little girl be kidnapped? He's coughed up blood before. <laughs> He's become such a doting father that he doesn't even need words to activate the curse. <laughs> that isn't a laughing matter. <laughs> Please, go and look for out. Of course we will. Where to, dude? So we got an owl quest now. Postlude. Atonement. Al has disappeared, driven wild by the loss of her, his daughter. Fuji seeks to annihilate all suspects. Alright, um, I guess I'll do this on the next part. Leave a like, guys, subscribe, share with a friend. I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Uh, let's, we'll jump right in on the next one.